Hey everybody, it's the Chatty Pug with another Call of Duty mobile video and today I'm going to be showing you guys my best strategy for leveling up guns in the most efficient and fastest way so you can grind diamond and Damascus skins. I'm going to be showing you all the best score streaks, maps and game modes to use. Hopefully these tips will help you save time grinding out those gun skins so you can get them quicker. If you have XP cards and double gun XP cards, obviously use them on top of this strategy. This is just the strategy I use without anything. So at the moment I don't have any weapon cards at all. Now the best game mode to play is shipment and the best game mode to play is hardpoint because you get the longest amount of time and the smallest amount of space. So that's a lot quicker time to get kills within a match. Also rust is another good one if you want to do longer range weapons, but most players that are grinding weapon skins already know this. So you do get a lot of legendary and good players enter these maps and a lot of players will use a lot of things like score streaks as well within the map. So you have to kind of counter that. That's why the build that I got here counters pretty much all of that. So you can kind of grind your guns in peace, even against the good players players and the people that are using score streaks. Now for the guns, obviously you choose whatever gun that you're grinding at the time. I've been grinding the Renetti to get that to diamond, but if I was grinding a primary weapon, I would have my secondary as like the FHJ-18. That's just going to help us counter any enemy VTOLs or Goliaths that people drop into the game. The operator skill I like to use is the transform shield because we're not going for kills with operator skill. There's no point using it. We're just grinding the gun. So you just want to keep getting kills with any gun that we're grinding. And the transform shield can be used pretty well on shipment. There's a lot of nice little pockets to put with it with hard point. And you can you can also use it as a weapon to deter people to make the games that go longer. As for my tactical, I like to use the EMP grenade because that can take out any enemy transform shields and sensory guns. And as for the lethal, I like to use the sticky grenade because I don't use vulture on this build. And so if I do really run out of ammunition, I can just throw a sticky grenade down and blow myself up and then start again. Now the score streaks I like to use, especially if you're using a non-meta gun, like in this gameplay here, I'm using the MW, which is not a very good gun, but having the RC car does help you get those gun kills on those weaker weapons. Then I like to use a counter UAV because it doesn't eat up any kills that you're saving for your gun. And it also assists because it blocks the enemy's radar and makes it a lot easier for you to flank enemies and get extra kills for your gun. And finally, on the last score streak, I like to use EMP systems because that can help disable any sensory guns, transform shields, it can stop the operator skills, any throwables like thermites that are really annoying. As for the perks, I like to use persistence. So that what that does is it continues our score streak progression even after death, but it costs double the price. But because we're playing hard point, you get that extra game time, so it's worth using. Now, as for the green perks, I like to go with cold blooded. Now this is gonna cover us for any AI controlled score streaks. So like sensory guns, stealth choppers, and it makes it a lot easier to throw your EMP grenade at a sensory gun and disable it with this perk on. Now this isn't gonna cover you for anyone that uses VTOLs or Goliaths or anything that the player has control over. You can throw an EMP grenade at the Goliath. It will just disable their HUD for a little bit, but it won't do any damage or anything to get rid of it. That's why if you're only doing primary weapons, that having the FHJ-18 is a good secondary to have. Now the third perk I like to use is a tactical mask that reduces the duration of any tactical equipment from enemies by 40%. You could also go with hardline if you wanted to. That would just increase your killing points from an enemy by 25%. If all you're doing was focusing on grinding diamond with one gun, this would probably be too long, so you're better off playing team deathmatch. But if you had multiple guns gold and you're grinding multiple diamonds, you could do 10 kills, then swap out a class during that same hard point match and then get another 10 kills. Or you can do what I was doing in this gameplay. I was getting kills with the Renetti at the start, so I got 10 kills. And then once I reached that, I swapped over to using the MW or another gun that I was grinding the weapon level and camos for. I hope you guys found this video helpful. And if you did, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. If you guys are already subscribed, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you as always. Let me know if you enjoyed these style of videos compared to the gunsmith videos, or if I should do more of these or just keep doing gunsmiths. And if you have any suggestions of guns you want me to cover, leave a comment down below and I'll get to them. Thanks guys, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.